Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to take a look at NAMI Wallet. Um, with NAMI Wallet, you can store and send multiple assets. So that means not only ADA, but also other tokens or NFTs. It also allows you to uh, delegate to stake pools and you can mint tokens and NFTs with it. And uh, there'll be much more with future updates. So what I'll do in this video is I will create a new wallet. I will uh, show you some features. I will um, wipe the wallet and then restore it from the seed phrase. And then I'll show you how to delegate your wallet to a stake pool using pool.pm. And then I will show you how you can mint tokens or NFTs. And I will leave timestamps down below so you can skip through the video if you want to. So we'll start by going to namiwallet.io. And uh, in this case, we will download the Chrome extension. So we'll click that, add to Chrome, add extension. And then here we will also uh, pin it so we can always see it. So now once you open it, you can see two options. You can create a new wallet or you can import uh, an existing one using uh, either 15 or 24 word uh, seed phrases. Um, we'll do that later in the video. So first we'll create a new wallet. Um, I accept the terms of use. If you want to read them, you can uh, click that and go ahead and read that. Um, accept those, continue. And then here's your uh, 24 word seed phrase. Um, so this is very important to um, write down on a piece of paper, uh, maybe write it down a couple times and have it stored in multiple physical locations so that it's um, secured. All right, so I will go ahead and write those uh, 24 words down. And um, once I'm done with that, I'll be back. Okay, so I've written down the 24 words. So now um, I can check this box here. So I'll click next. And now we have to confirm the seed phrase. Um, so how this works is you type in essentially, let's see here the first word. Um, movie. So in this case, it's correct and it automatically goes to the next word. But then if we go ahead and write in a incorrect word, let's say task, um, it doesn't jump to the next um, line. And it, if you go to the next line, it also highlights it in red. So that means that you've made a mistake um, when you wrote down your seed phrase. And in this case, you should start over just to uh, make sure you get it right. So I will fill those out. And uh, once I'm done that, I'll be back. Okay, so now I'm done uh, verifying the seed phrase and I can press next. And then I will give this um, account a name. It'll just be demo one and create. And there we go. Now we have created our wallet. And since it's a new wallet, of course it shows a zero ADA balance. And this is the balance in US dollars. Uh, here you can see a receive button. So if you click that, it shows you your address. So you can scan it with uh, your phone and you can also copy the address to your clipboard. And then here's your sending button. So here you would paste in the recipient's address um, down here, you would type in how much ADA you want to send. And then if you do have any assets, you can select them here and send them along with the transaction. Now, if we click on the icon in the top right, uh, first it shows your accounts. So right now we only have one account, uh, demo one. Next, we have uh, stake and earn. So through the wallet itself, you can only delegate to uh, Berry Pool. Um, but I will show you later how to delegate to any stake pool that you want uh, using pool.pm. So uh, that feature is available. And then next up, we have our settings. So we have general settings, which allow you to toggle between light and dark mode. Uh, here you can toggle between the two currencies, so US dollars or Euro, if you wanted to. So now if we go back, um, you can you would see your balance in Euros instead of USD. So you go back to settings, put that to USD. And then down here, you can reset your wallet. So as long as you have written down your seed phrase, you can reset your wallet and it essentially wipes all the data. And then here we have a whitelisted sites. Currently there's none here. Um, there will be one once we uh, try delegating to a stake pool uh, using pool.pm. And also when we mint tokens, it will add namiwallet.io um, to the list of sites. So we'll show that later. And then last we have uh, the network tab here. Um, you can change between mainnet and testnet. So if we swap this here and we go back, you can see now it shows uh, T and then the ADA symbol, which means test ADA. Um, so we can go back, network, and go back to mainnet. And then custom node, that feature is currently not available, um, but in the future, you will be able to run your own Cardano network, essentially, and then connect this wallet to your local Cardano network, which is pretty cool as well. So for the purpose of this video, I will switch this to uh, testnet, so I can show you a bunch of the functionalities without spending any um, actual ADA. So once we do that, we'll go back and now we'll send um, some test ADA to our newly created wallet. So we'll press receive and we'll copy this. 
we'll go over to our Daedalus, we'll paste in the address, we will send uh, 10 test ADA and press send and then type in the password. And that will send it off. And then uh, shortly we will see that this amount changes to 10 test ADA. And here we can see we have now 10 test ADA in our wallet, um, which equals around 24 uh, US dollars. And now here in the uh, history, we can see the transaction that we've just sent uh, of 10 test ADA. You can see the transaction ID and you can see the date and time it was sent. And if you uh, click on this transaction ID, it will open it in the testnet uh, Cardano browser so you can check out what actually happened, all the inputs and outputs and, and transaction fee and everything. So we'll go back. And now next we will actually create a, uh, another account and we'll call that demo2. And there we go. Now this account has obviously zero test ADA and now we can uh, switch back and forth between the two accounts. And again, they use the same seed phrase. So if you uh, wipe the wallet and you um, restore your wallet with your seed phrase, then you will also have access to the uh, second account. And now again, we will uh, send some ADA to our account. Um, this time it's the demo two. So we'll copy this and send this time 20 ADA. We'll wait for this to arrive. And here we go. Now we've received our 20 ADA or test ADA, uh, which equates to around uh, 47.8 uh, US dollars. So now if we go uh, back and forth, you can see here it's 10 test data and 20 test data. And now if you go to send, we can also send um, just by clicking into the recipient field, you can see now it shows your um, other account that you have inside of this wallet. So you can easily send ADA from uh, demo one to demo two and vice versa. So that's kind of neat. All right, so now we will go ahead and um, go to settings, general settings, and we will reset our wallet. Um, since we have written down our seed phrase, there's uh, no danger in doing this. So we'll go ahead and wipe it. And now if we go back to our wallet, we're back to the step one where we create or import our wallet. So in this case now, we're going to uh, import our wallet with our 24 word seed phrase. Um, I accept the terms of use. Uh, press continue. And now this time we have to enter our seed phrase to restore the wallet that we've created before. So I will go ahead and do that right now. And just to show you in this case, since the wallet doesn't actually know what the correct seed phrase is, even if I type in the correct word movie, it doesn't automatically go to the next line. So if I press uh, tab right here, it doesn't mark it in red or anything. Uh, however, it does mark your uh, word incorrect if it's a a uh, word that does not exist in the uh, 2048 words that make up the possible seed phrase words, if that makes sense. Um, I will fill these out and be back once uh, I'm done with that. Okay, so I've uh, filled in every word that we've uh, written down earlier and I can press next. And again, we will call it demo one. And here we go, we've imported our existing wallet. Um, it currently shows uh, zero ADA because this is still on the uh, mainnet, so we have to switch to testnet. And now if we go back, we can see we have a balance of 10 test ADA. And now if we go to our accounts, you can see that the demo2 account is not there, but all we have to do is uh, re-add it, demo2, and then create, and there we go. We have our 20 test ADA, so and we can even here uh, delete the account, you know, delete it, doesn't matter. Let me just uh, create it again. and the ADA will always be there. So next we're going to send a uh, asset to our demo one wallet. So we'll go send, paste the address, and then here add token. We'll just pick the first one here. And then along with that, we'll send five ADA and send. We will wait for that. All right, so now here we can see that we've received um, some extra ADA, uh, as well as the token, oval person number 407. And um, you can see here we sent, let's see over here, we sent 5.17 ADA. So uh, it should show 15 ADA in total now because we've had uh, 10 plus the five. And the reason why it's not showing um, all five is because 1.48 um, ADA is locked with the token together. And that's done because um, with every token or NFT that you want to send, you have to send along 
a minimum amount of ADA with it. So the NAMI wallet essentially locks up um, a portion of your balance in order to um, always be able to send that NFT or token out of your wallet. And then here in the history, we can again see the transaction ID. And then here, if we click on the asset, you can also see um, a list of assets. Right now it's just one, but if you have multiple, you would see a list of assets and the count. And then if you click this, it copies the uh, asset ID that you can go to uh, testnet, Cardano scan. So we paste it in here and then you can see more information on uh, this particular asset. And now to send the asset back to our um, original wallet, we can uh, copy this address right here, we'll go to send, and then we'll paste in the address right here. And then instead of uh, typing in how much ADA we want to send, all we do is we, we select the asset that we want to send, and then it automatically fills in the uh, amount of ADA that was locked up with the asset. So we'll press send, confirm, and this should shortly send back to our original wallet. And here we go. The asset was removed from our NAMI wallet and we've received it in our Daedalus. And we can see here the uh, multiple tokens received, which is the asset that we sent over. Um, and along with that, the 1.48 ADA that was uh, previously locked up in uh, NAMI wallet. Now, if we want to send back the remainder of the balance, um, right now there's uh, no functionality yet for that to work. So we have to copy the entire balance, go to send, uh, paste it in here, and then we'll get another address, put it in here. And now we just need to remove enough um, to pay for the transaction fee. Point two is fine. Um, so we'll press send. And there we go. All right, so on our data list, we can see now uh, we've received the ADA of 13.14 uh, and our demo one balance is now zero. So now in order to show you um, how to delegate your wallet to a stake pool and how to mint tokens, we have to actually switch back to our mainnet. And now I will go ahead and send some uh, real ADA to this wallet so we can uh, delegate it to a stake pool. Go ahead and scan it. And always confirm the uh, last few digits. So triple V95J looks good. And then we'll just send uh, 10 ADA just for demonstration purposes. All right, so the 10 ADA was sent and uh, received in our uh, NAMI wallet. So now what we can do is go to pulopium slash search. And we'll just pick a random stake pool. And then uh, on the right hand side here, you can see the join button. And we will press that. And that will uh, trigger this pop up here. So NAMI wallet connect to uh, pool RPM. So we'll say access. And then we'll have another pop up of um, a transaction to sign, which is the two ADA for the delegation deposit, and then a 0.17 ADA. Uh, transaction fee. So we will sign that, type in the password, and then just uh, wait a moment. And you can see here it opened up our uh, stake address, which now has 7.8 ADA, which is the um, 10 ADA that we originally had, minus the 2.2 ADA um, for the deposit as well as the transaction fee. And now if we go back to our wallet and click history, and we can see here delegation uh, stake registration. So uh, fee 0.17 and then deposit to ADA. And then if you click on this up here, you can see the um, pool that you delegated to. Um, it has a description of the pool and then the available rewards. Right now it's obviously zero because it takes around 15 to 20 days um, for rewards to start coming in. And then once you have rewards, you can withdraw them as well. All right, so that's for uh, delegating to a stake pool. And now we will uh, mint some tokens. So what we'll do is we'll go to namiwallet.io slash hub slash mint. We will connect our wallet and that will have a pop-up right here. Um, connect to namiwallet.io access. And now it shows us our uh, payment address right here. And now also if we go to um, the icon here, settings, and then whitelisted sites, uh, now you can see the pool.pm from when we were delegating as well as namiwallet.io. And you have the option to remove them if you want to. And then for our tokens, we will mint um, this Cardano logo. 
we'll call it Cardano logo. Um, we'll mint one of them, so make an NFT, and then we'll press mint. And now again, we will have a pop-up here, um, transaction sign request. So we'll have to spend a 0 0.18 uh, ADA transaction fee, and we'll get a uh, asset with the name of Cardano logo. And that's it. So we will sign the uh, transaction, confirm, and now it's uh, pending and transaction confirmed. So we'll go back here and we should see in the assets. Now we see our Cardano logo. So we click on it. Uh, you can copy the uh, policy ID. And now we can go to pool.pm slash the policy ID and then period Cardano logo. And that now shows our NFT. And it also shows the policy um, is automatically registered with pool.pm. So whenever you create an NFT, it will come with a policy that locks in 15 minutes. All right, let's uh, go ahead and create some fungible tokens. So we will uh, create, say, 10 of these ADA symbols. Um, no author and mint, which again will create a transaction that we have to sign. We'll sign that. Transaction pending and transaction confirmed. So if you go back to our wallet, we should now see uh, two assets, the uh, Cardano logo NFT because it's just one and then the ADA symbols. So we click this, copy this. Again, we'll go to pool.pm slash the policy ID period and then the name. Ada symbols. And yeah, it's uh, black on black right here, so we can't see the actual picture. But again, here is the policy ID that will lock in uh, around 15 minutes. And now if you want to see the uh, metadata of your tokens, you can uh, copy the asset ID, go to Cardano scan, paste it in here. And then if you go to mint transaction, you click that and then metadata, and then here the 721. This is the uh, metadata of the Cardano logo uh, NFT that we've created. So it has the image, which is um, stored on IPFS with its hash. And then you have a name, which is Cardano logo, which we um, picked out earlier. And then lastly, when you go to send uh, some of your tokens and you select your ADA symbols, that is uh, with quantity 10, you now have the option to uh, select a quantity because you have uh, more than one. So you can do 10, you can do five or whatever you want. And yeah, that pretty much covers all the features that are currently available on NAMI Wallet. Um, feel free to subscribe so that you don't miss any uh, future update videos and um, like the video, share it and all that good stuff. And I will see you guys in the next one.